21 years ago, we heard the promise of God to the people of our church to bless them and grow them and to expand in the numbers of people we reach. Here are some personal stories that highlight this journey of promise. This is the end of Pastor Appreciation Month and many of you have expressed your gratitude for us as a staff. And so I simply want to ask the staff one by one to say what they celebrate about you. I am grateful for this congregation, the way that they've been so open and generous to share their facilities and to share the campus and to share their resources and their volunteer hours with the neighborhood and the world. And that's really what I am so grateful for and I bless you. So enjoy the rest of the staff as they bless you as well. Kyuvo, como andas? Como estas? Hey, I'm Mark Westland. I'm your friendly neighborhood missions pastor. And before I became your missions pastor three and a half years ago, I was a missionary sent out by Centerville Presbyterian Church. Right now, I teach about eight missional courses and two or three other miscellaneous kind of courses that I think you'd like to take. And I'd love to see you. But let me tell you, one of the things I appreciate most about being in this church, particularly with our journey of promise, is people who are willing to sacrificially give because over two decades of ministry as a missionary were supported by this church when my wife and I and my family were overseas. So I love you guys and let's just keep missions going. Hey, I'm Daryl. I'm so glad to see you this morning. Oh, but I guess you're having trouble seeing me. Let me turn on the lights. Here we go. Ah, that's better. Hey, good to see you. I am so excited about Journey of Promise and I really want to thank you for uh, your contributions to that program, that campaign. You know, with, uh, with your uh, tax dollars, um, this will go towards helping us get a new uh, lighting system in the sanctuary. I'm really excited about that. I want you to see all these wonderful things that we're doing in the sanctuary as well as hearing them. So, thanks for your help. At the end of the day, it's not about what some traditional worship directors with mustaches make it out to be, like lights. It's much more than that. Your gifts help facilitate a ministry that reaches out to hundreds every week. And I personally just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to do what I love for the glory of God. No, but seriously, we need lights. Hi, my name is Lynette Erickson. Most of you know me as Miss Lynette. And I'm the Director of Children's Ministries. That's a wonderful position for me because I love children and I get to share the love of Jesus with them as well. We're actually in one of the buildings that our original mortgage money is paying for. And as a part of the journey of promise, I see this building expanding in the use of children's ministries for many years to come. It's been my privilege as a member here for a lot of years to support our mortgage fund. And I encourage you to be a part of the journey of promise. My name is Jim Schoon and I am the retired pastor of New Hope Community Church here in Fremont. I served that congregation for 30 years and retired two years ago. And I've had the opportunity to be blessed with the leading of God in regards to being a part of, of the ministry of Centerville Presbyterian Church. I'm excited about it because I see in Centerville a congregation that loves to serve the Lord. And as I begin my minister of visitation uh, responsibilities and opportunity and privilege, I find it a privilege and an honor to be a part of Centerville to do serving the Lord in this way. Over the years that I've served in ministry, I have certainly seen that uh, people have been blessed as they have given, and I have seen the blessings come to Centerville because they are a giving and serving congregation. So I'm looking forward to being a part of this congregation and this fellowship and this ministry that God has brought to the Fremont community. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm the youth pastor here at CPC, and I love this church. It's a wonderful congregation of good people that love to follow Jesus, love to be a presence in their community. It's one of the reasons that first brought me here. Um, one of the things I've noticed about this church is how generous it is. We are well taken care of by you guys, and I just want to say thank you for that. I'm excited about this journey of promise that we're doing because I get to work with your teenagers. You know, I could show um, a clip of a bunch of their sad faces and how you need to give to support them so that they can eat lunch. In the arms of the angel, 
but I'm not going to do that. Instead, you know, I just, one of the things I've learned is that when God inspires this congregation to do stuff, good things happen, big things happen. And we know that, that God is a generous God. God gives. God gives himself. And so as we reflect on this journey of promise, thank you for listening to what God has given you. Thank you for listening to the promises that he's promised you. But also thank you for, for the gifts that you've given this church because you know that our God is a giving God and to serve him, um, you give in turn. So I thank you for that. You're an awesome congregation. I love you so much. This is a really fun place to work. Every day I have the privilege of coming on campus and seeing people gathered around the Bible studying His words, whether they be young mothers, a men's group, or kindred spirits, or some of our other senior saints groups. And it's also a place of immense caring and praying. I really see that true in our deacons ministry as well as in the grief group, the healing grace group, and the pain management support group. All of these groups and uh, ministries are made possible because of your generous giving. Thank you. One thing I like about Centerville, it's a loving church. I love it and uh, I feel that it returns the love to me, uh, many fold. And I think that's the drawing card to this church. Then also, uh, it's a giving church. My goodness, uh, ever since I've been there, since uh, uh, way back in the early 70s, I realized that this church is a giving church.